want to say it because I know it's like it can't come to some people really die like that. I was expecting her sick cell to kill her and I expect a big accident to really look her and I kill her. Speak to us about what happened on July 25th. Well, I was home and I got a call and said, my daughter met in an accident. Why she was leaving work at Mega Mart. In Kingston? In New, in New Kingston, yeah. What a world. She was crossing the road. Where? At Waterloo Road mm -hmm. in New Kingston. Because she just left work, she was leaving. She went crossing the road and they said a car stop. When one car stop, she was proceeding to further across. And when the other one come up with her, one hit her and her to the next side of the road. When that happened, another car ran over her. She severed serious damage. She was at the ICU. Who took her to the hospital? A taxi and her co workers. She severed a lot of broken bones. She died of her daughter that is going to be one September 4th. When you got the news that you met in an accident, what went through your mind? Honestly, not never really went through my mind because I went to the hospital to see what I expect. I wasn't expecting that when I got the news. It was like, you know, I had a pretty car, so. But I never went there to see her in that severe. Talk to me about the condition that she was in when you went to the hospital. When I went to the hospital, I had two food demos into a cage, like a box with a board. And she had something on her neck. And she had a medical chip on. She was conscious? Oxygen. Yes, she was conscious at the time. But the doctor said that she was like, she just come in, she never did conscious kind of answer a question that she could answer. She was like, she didn't know, she didn't know. But like when we reach Asha water, she tell us that she want water and more water, she tell us that she water. I was there telling her, you can get any water, because maybe I forgot the surgery or whatever, you can't go in a surgery with things in her body. And she was crying and taking off her oxygen, she said she want water, she want water. So the doctors come to me and they read the paper and sign it for her to do the surgery. She did the surgery to choose a man. Step of surgery, so she was supposed to do? She did a back surgery because she was bleeding from inside. So they did a surgery to stop the bleeding. So to stop the bleeding, she went into something like it was a surgical coma because her body couldn't, she couldn't wait while having the, the stuff in her because it had to stabilize. To stabilize her, then we'd have to keep it inside. And they allowed me to see her the night. And I went to them and I prayed and I prayed and I prayed. I got a lot of people praying for her. And when the woman's there, she was like the same. Because they, she was under oxygen, that it was, the machine was breathing for her. It was an empty for her. She was a bit like nothing of her own after she was surgery. And after the surgery on the Wednesday, she was like, now I'm the same way. And then it was like, once the start to her, she's hearing, but she just can't respond because of the something that she's done. I went there Thursday. That's going to be the 27th? Yeah, Thursday. Different from the first day, that was a best of my daughter. The Thursday? The Thursday. Downstairs, I was asking her if she could move her foot. She said no, but I touched it and she said she's feeling it. So I said, All right, then, thank God, she won't be crippled. You know, when you turn the arm along with the snare, he was like, You can't move your foot for me, please. She didn't know move it. I said, Thank God again, it didn't move. And I was there talking to her, talking to her. She was like trying to answer me. But her mouth was moving, everything was moving. She was trying to answer me. I was like, okay, you can't talk to me. Because I'm not going to hear anything that you're saying. 
is just that in the end, she cared for me to understand because I know your pain and she moved her head. And the team asked her, she moved her head and it's like, she was like, weapon, you're not coming on for come Ari, for the shoot, for coming on for Ari. I was just telling her about her, I just showed it. Telling her everybody love her, telling her about everything that happened. But, me, she was like, come back to Tuesday. And from Friday up till the Monday, because the Monday, when I speak to her, because the cancer said talk to them, because she may hear everything that they say, but just so she can't respond, so her body not going to respond. She was like moving her eye, she was like rolling her eye, rolling her eye. I'm saying, yeah, my baby, I'm glad. Yeah, who the eye, so yeah, hear me, understand. And I come to choose the night. And come up and I said, I don't like this. The hospital called me. Oh, the pretty God, I was just praying, praying, praying that my daughter never died. It turned out that when I reached, when I reached hospital, she didn't die. They were just telling me the changes. That she's making. They are praying for good changes when it was worse. It was getting worse. Never would expect that. They told me that her kidney is failing her. And they assumed that she had bleeding in the brain. That was the bleed. So they said that they. It was to do a scan, but at the time it was all in the end, everywhere really close up. So they reach out to the specialist and make them and she ended up with a scan. From the scan though, and they said that her brain is bleeding because of her kidney function. Because as I said, the kidney pushes out the blood and clean all the ways. So if that is not functioning, so it's forcing the break to do the first stuff because it's not reaching out. I prayed and I come home with my friend prayed. When is you know they call me because she's not gonna to say you want us to go the when she die? Or do you want to call us when she's going? I was like come on when she going. Don't come when she die. Because it's that they're trying their best and it's like they can't do nothing. That's how everything does come. They come to Friday, Wednesday, and I call my friend. She was like, she said, I can't come, my friend. I'm tired of this man right now. I'm sorry, I come, please. Anyway, I'm going to go there by myself. Me one. Cape Yeah, Cape Because I didn't have to because I live nearby. When I walk out here and they put on the stuff on me to see her, I go to the her like this. When I look up on the monitors, because she's like, I'm playing to machine. When I look up on the monitor, I don't see her heartbeat. I don't see her pressure. It was that number 26. It was that number 26. And then I started to scream out. I started to cry. I said, I killed her fine. And I was here praying and praying with her and praying with her. And I didn't get nothing. From that day until now, it's like, family and friends them people reach out to me people try to get my comfort but it's like no matter what they do they can't my heart can't have peace they even came to a trip at the river and it's like it's the same and I don't know and I don't know what to say because I know it's like it can't come to me. Some people really die like that. I was 
I'm expecting her sick cell to kill her. I never expect a big accident. To really lick her down and kill her. I wasn't looking for that. Because she likes sick cell real bad. This is. And that's why I was looking for to arm her. To take her home. Because from there, little, they say that they won't allow to get any kids when they reach certain stage, certain things that will happen to them and stuff. And I prayed and I prayed and I prayed. And God brought her through. I guess you could have brought her through this pain and suffering that she was going to come under after everything. What type of person was Michaela? Michaela was a jovial person. She really miserable and cuss when she ready, but be friendly, everybody knows her, everybody understands her, even me and her. And I would argue back and forth, front and back, because my mother doesn't really want the wrong for her child. And sometimes when you train your children on the right, and they don't feel like they want to go the right, it would be a problem. So that was me and her journey, just for her to come out to wonderful successful young lady but other than that she's a very nice girl she grew up all everybody love her them call her people call me for so them call she look a fool and I'm not spicy I'm not no filter attitude everything sometimes look back and say the other day me not be before I take something but too bad being a cough and became in the hospital. The water them can't stay in the fridge. I, I water can't drink because she doesn't sit her water back because she doesn't do nothing. I went to God, everything is intact. I'm saying, look at it here. And I asked Michaela, Michaela said, and she, and we are laughing, and we are talking at her even long before she died. But I said, I have to laugh and cheer up myself and pray for the best and hope for the best. I prayed for my daughter, I went on my knee. I got to grant her favor and mercy and second chance. But who's me to say what I what God want her? So he take her away. So you know her pain and her suffering if she never go through. But as me, I say, my rather peace a daughter than any. She's your own child? No, that was something that is nice. Mm -hmm. But she's your first child? Yeah, she's my first. What were some of the things that she had for her life? You said she had a daughter, right? Right. What were some of the things she had for her daughter? Well, her plans are she always planning on moving, planning on betterment, planning on her daughter future. She got so many, so many things, so many thoughts. Sometimes we still don't have a plan. But I want to see them soon come out and house, soon. Everything at this time, everything at this time, and I ask. And she would want, because time is me not catch up, because being catch up, me like to do things that I correct about it, because I always pan her back, I always pan her back, my rider, my rider, my rider, he, my rider, I come, my rider, I come. I'm not around for rider as big as she is, because my rider is not a rightful part. Because that's the mom who I, that's the mother who I am. And when they say I'm doing fine and I'm doing good, if you see me smiling, I try to smile outside. Inside is tearing up, tearing apart. Just sometimes that one smile really gives me a little break, but it's like I'm here and I'm not. That's basically me right now. I'm here, but I'm not. As we do from the incident and everything, it's just that this back pain don't leave me none at all. I did father had that pain too because I was complaining about my back. I'm saying, Mr. Listen, I see him telling me your back up kill me. Well, my cousin turned to me, was she doing nursing? She said that it's a part of stress. I'm almost just taking it easy. Could it eat? Nothing. I go from money, I just bought a much which I force myself to eat. I even take people to try to open my appetite, but it's like, my appetite 
just come a little bit. People can tell me, tell me to keep strong for my granddaughter. Um, trust me, she's the one that keeps me going and makes me strong right now. Because some things I should do for her, uh, 11 months, baby, is like she just big. She just always gives me a smile on my face, no matter how I'm done. Mm -hmm.